Hey everyone, this is Brenda with Pete's RV Center here in Cherville, Indiana. And we'll be going through a 2016 Apex Nano today, 185BH, and taking a tour. So first we will start right up front here. The front cap. And all the decals look pretty good on there. It's a little bit of cracking starting on some of these, but no peeling. And the color looks great. It's not faded. So we do have that metal protector here to help protect from rocks or road debris kicking up while you're hauling. It's got a manual jack up there. Can get a propane tank here and a battery box. Coming around in the back side, we do have the nice tinted windows. Some of these will have no tint on them, so you know, can see through them at night when there's no tint. So it is nice to have a little tint that also helps protect the inside of the camper. So definitely a good thing to have. It is a fiberglass unit, so you can do the extended season camping in this into early spring, late fall. Um, still don't want to go below freezing with the water lines just in any camper unless it's warranty for four seasons. So, but can definitely get more out of this than something that's an aluminum sided there. Um, on hot summer days, it will also keep your air conditioning in better because it's just better insulated. There is Asdel throughout this entire walls of this camper, which um, is one of the best climate shields that you can use in construction for RVs. It's also water resistant in the walls there, so that's great. Do have a pass-through storage here, which is nice and big. I'd say that's probably about three and a half, four feet or so so you can get your big tent or your screen tent or your big chairs or your rug in there so nice good pass-through storage here and this side's totally solid here that's where you can dump your fresh water in and your fresh water drain at the bottom here and i'll just zoom in a second so you guys can see the bin number the specs the gross vehicle weight the axle rating so you can just pause the video there if you want to see that further so going along to the back here uh, these tires look really good on here I'm not seeing any dry rot and the tread is still really good and this is a single axle trailer here because it's just short and sweet Coming around to the back, that's gonna be your bunk window. The bunk bed's in this one, which we'll get to. And then you have another storage spot under the bunk beds. Any storage helps. And this is totally solid going through here. Coming around the back, you put your uh, hot water heater, the cable connection for if your campground has a big satellite dish you can hook up to, city water connection if they have a water hookup, along with your 30 amp power cord there. All right, we're going to go down a second. There's your dumps for your gray tank and your black tank. And you've got manual stabilizer jacks on this, which you could just crank down with that tool that was just there in the storage. Um, or just get the bit that fits the drill and drill them down. Here, you got a copy? Back here, you do right. have storage for, for a sewer hose. Let's see if I can get it off here. And you just tuck that in there. I'll be right up. Go around to the back here and take a good look at the back of the camper. Again, graphics look really good. Decals look good. And they got a spare tire. It looks like a full size there. Mounted to the bumper. This bumper, you could move that spare over. Um, as long as you're not blocking your brake lights and put a bike rack or accessory rack. Right on there. And we'll go around to the front here. So here's the view of the front of the camper. 
Again, that tinted window. Uh, those two black squares there in the middle are going to be behind your refrigerator venting. And you've got some outlets here, along with two outdoor speakers and a power awning. We're going on some of this stuff. Here's your other tire. Again, that looks really good. Outlets, exhaust for your furnace. Those two little things are your speakers there. And I just wanted to show up here. Not tall enough to get right in front of it, but there is a little imperfection there. We might be able to get some sealant or tape on that and uh, make it last. So we'll come around to the front here. And this is where there is a little bit of damage in this one. It looks like to me, start up here, that there might have been a leak right there that trickled down, but it does look like that has been taken care of. And I have been out here two days ago when it was raining and there was no water currently sitting. So it looks like that might have happened a little while ago and that it was repaired when it happened, but that it did leave some water damage and the water damage goes, you can see how that's pressing down um, from basically the front and then to there. And then as I go back, you can tell that this area here, back up a little bit, that's where it goes to. So this on is solid, but this is where you might need to peel that back and put a new board in. And then there's your front jack. So let's go into the camper, which I think the inside looks great. Um, the screen on the door doesn't have any tears. No little pups were scratching at it. And then there's your screen door. And you have a window on here, so if you have people coming in knocking at your door, you can see who's coming in. So I did notice this plate here. I think that maybe that water might have trickled back to here because this is completely solid. But I think it might have come back a little bit here. And the previous owner put this over there just for the stability of walking into there. So let's check it out. Got a handle here to get in. And coming in, we'll start over here with the bed. And the mattress really isn't too bad. It's it's really not that bad, but you could always, of course, of course, do a pillow top around it if you like something softer. But that is the mattress. And then it's going to be hard to do with one hand, but this lifts up and you can access that storage under there from the front storage. You have a window here. And the rest of the blinds in the camper look good, but some of these are a little mixed up, but that's an easy fix. They left the little TV here, and then you have overhead storage. Um, I did notice that they left a bunch of paperwork for this, which is great. It probably has original manuals in there for appliances, for the camper, things like that. But it is nice having this extra storage up top. Um, could line it with baskets or things like that to organize your stuff. You have a light right over the head of here. There is a ledge over here where... You can tuck stuff down in here and it goes all the way across. And then these blinds look really good with this window on the side and that's your emergency exit window. So I'm going to kind of pan so you can see the rest of the camper and then we'll break it down. So we'll start over here in the kitchen and you do have your fire extinguisher, some outlets and a double sink there. Up top here is where, I'm thinking this is where you can flip uh, some of the lights on there. And then this is your power awning, bringing it in and out. And coming over here, you've got overhead storage in the kitchen. And we'll just get you a look in there. That's where your pots and pans can go, your cups, plates, and coming down here. Oh, I didn't see that earlier. There is a little bit here, but again, something that's an easy fix. 
there's the double sink. You've got a two burner. And then there's your microwave here. Oh, it's just, it doesn't want to pop open. Well, <laughs> I don't know who won't pop open for me, so we'll observe and see what's going on with that. That's your um, furnace right there, so it's going to blow your hot air when it's cold. And then you do have some storage under here. All right, moving along, you have some cabinets up top and these do go pretty far back so that's cool can't see it but my hands go it basically takes my whole arm length there I've got this and then your refrigerator which can run off of electric or propane and what we always do when we're camping is we just bring a cooler and put the drinks in there and then keep the food in the fridge so We've got the two bunk beds here. And if you got little ones, you could, of course, always put a little netting or barrier across here to keep the baby in. And then the bigger kid could go up here. There's a little window there. And then this is just your fuse box. And I think that's your carbon monoxide detector. So coming over here, you do have two indoor speakers here. And that's your stereo, so you can play indoor, outdoor. And it looks like you can put an aux cord in. I don't know if this one has a Bluetooth just because of the year, but you can definitely get an aux cord in there. You can always, of course, just bring your portable speaker with you too and Bluetooth to that, but it is nice just having it ready in the camper to go. And then here's your dinette. You could definitely fit two adults and two smaller kids in this. And then I don't think I'm going to be able to lift it up, but both of those, I checked earlier, have full storage under them if you just lift the cushion and then lift the little piece. So you could get a big crock pot in there or some of those bigger things you bring them with. And we'll do the ceiling while we're in here and then we'll finish up with the bathroom. But this is your um, air conditioning. And I'll just get a close up there. So it looks like you got a heat option up there too, which is cool. Or just a fan. And of course the air conditioning. Light. 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 And another light. Alright. All the wood looks really good in this camper. That's your thermostat too. So. Oh. That's how you turn your um, actual furnace on. Alright. There's me. Hi. <laughs> We'll start over here with the tub. So you do have a nice little tub here. We do need to attach the shower head to that and make sure everything's working good in there, which our service team will do. But this is definitely deep enough to where I feel fine with my kid in there. She's four. And um, it's deep enough to where you could really give them a decent bath or get a baby in there. So that's really cool. And then for the adults, you do have this skylight it's going to give you a few extra inches of height in there too so there's your shower and tub and then coming back here you have a medicine cabinet there's your light and your fan this is going to be where you turn your hot water heater on and your water pump along with telling you where your tanks are at as far as being full and where your battery is at with being charged We've got an outlet there, towel holder, and your toilet. You could also, I've seen some people put little hooks on the back of the door. And if you wanted to, you could hang like a little towel or if you need to hang kids' bathing suits or something like that. So that has been your tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like my page, subscribe. And I try to put as many videos up as we can. Uh, again, my name is Brenda. I work at Pizza RV Center. We're at 500 West Lincoln Highway in Cherville, Indiana. We have a lot of great choices for new and used right now. So feel free to 
send me a message or call me at 219-865-1656 if you'd like more info. Thanks for thinking, Pete's.